We are we, hey? We are we, hey? Yeah, we are we. Dude, you just fart. Oh, hey everyone. My dog knows where we're going. We're going over here. I picked my daughter up from school. Got to pick my daughter from school this afternoon. So we're just heading out. Take the dog for a bit of a walk. Get some fresh air. And I've got a rod and a spinner. Can have a go and see if there's any kahoi here. Not sure how dirty the river is. But I would imagine it's quite dirty. But we'll check it out anyway. Here we are, Thornton. Rapper, we are we? Hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first thing we'll just let her out over here. And we'll see if there's any rabbits. So we'll check that out first. Ooh. There's one right there, the little rubber. There's one right there, bro. Measure, measure. Zoom in on it, you'll see it. There it is, right there. See the rabbit there? Having a good old munch. Right. Measure, here you go. Measure. Measure, come on. Measure, seek, seek. Look at this. Sticking out of the sand is a sand sinker. There you go. Heaps of footprints around and people don't uh, really look that well and there you go a four round sand sinker another one to add to my collection Here I am at one of my favorite Puha spots, just down by the beach. Haven't been here for about oh, way over a year, and there is so much Puha around, it's fantastic. I've nearly filled up a bag already, and I've only walked probably about 30 meters. So the sausage roll that I've had, and that sauce, uh, sausage has really given me the energy to really get through here and really pick the Puha that's here. So here's some uh, puha here that I've um, got about to cut and I'll show you guys that. So we've got some 
good puha there I like to cut it just above the ground like there that's so you don't get the roots so I pull off a few old leaves on the bottom give it a nice tidy up in the field and there's a nice piece of puha there and yeah, next to it there's another piece so we cut it just above the ground and there's our second piece right there <coughs> let's pull the old sticks off and stuff so there's our two pieces of yummy as puha And there we go. So I'm going to walk around here and see if I can find some more. Because man, there is heaps around. Look, another piece right there. We'll cut that as well. Now there's some pieces here. As you can see, they're already flowering or starting to flower. Um, might be a bit late picking that, but what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut some of these shoots of head on the bottom. So I'm going to cut those off and uh, nothing wrong with that at all. I'll leave the big bits behind. So get the old knife out and we'll cut those. Sort of bits in here, we'll just cut off those pieces like that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Pull the old leaves off. See? Put them in the bag and carry on. Oh, my buddy knee fucking hurts his. Now I can spot a good piece right there. Look at those two bits. Those are two nice pieces right there. There they are. It's all cut just above the ground. Good piece there. And this one as well. We'll cut just above the ground. Pull the old leaves off, a little bit of sticks. And there we have two more good pieces. Oh well, hi everyone, I've just had a bit of a sleep after my epic day in the wind down at the beach picking the puha, and now I'm going to get the meat ready to put on the boil. I was lucky enough today, down at Pack and Spin, was, they had pork shoulder chops on special for $6 a kilo. So as you all know, in my board ups, I always use pork, pork chops or pork strips. A lot of you guys like eating brisket and pork bones and bacon bones, but in here we really enjoy eating our pork chops or pork strips. Yeah, six bucks a kilo, so I've got three lovely as pork shoulder chops with tasty as looking fat on there for $8.80 So that's our chops ready and I have some beef sausages which I'll put in at the end A lot of you guys I know don't like sausages in your white ups but here we do especially myself they're yummy with piece of bread Sausage and some sauce on it. So there we have guys, there's our two meats. Now I've got a kumara, nine bucks a kilo. Expensive as, so I only got one. One kumara. Now I don't normally have potatoes in my boiler. But I thought, well what the heck. 
it's cold, it's August. Let's put some potatoes in there. And also I have here some pumpkin, not grown by myself, but from the shop. The old good old pack and spend. They have tasty as kai there for the board up. So there we have it. Kumara potatoes, pumpkin, sausages and pork chops. Right, let's put our pork chops in there. A lovely bit of fat. You've got to have fat in your boil up. There we go. Right, it's been an hour and a half boiling pork chops. There we go. Your belt. Your belt. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love Raymond if this is the top answer. <laughs> is it up there? No, it's not. Let's check the pork and the pork pieces. I think are pretty ready. Look at that, it's all falling apart, that's how you have your pork, tender as, look at that, oh yeah. Right, the meat is so tender, it's time we're going to add the puha and the vegetables to it, so let's do that shall we, let's check this out, Ooh, look at that, that's nearly ready. Is nearly ready. Potatoes, yeah, nearly. Sausages, yeah, I think. Oh, another, another 10 minutes. Is Nevis Kai? There you go. Okay. It's for you. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, some more puha going in there. Oh man, I'm so bloody hungry. Oh, can't wait to try that. Sausage. Yep, there it goes. Rolling over. What else can we find in the pot? We're gonna find some more pork. Yes. Potato. Pumpkin. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa. Look at that guys. You know that is an awesome plate of kai bit of raw onion top of there bit of salt there it is guys check that out here we go mmm mmm so sweet Mm. Mm -hmm. 